All right, coming up next, it's a lightweight bout between Rafael Dos Anjos and Michael Chiesa. And now our tale of the tape for this lightweight fight. Dos Anjos, three years his senior. Chiesa is five inches taller. He will have a five-inch reach advantage. Here for the official. You ready to fight? You ready? Yeah. Here we go. Oh, he just missed with that straight left hand, Joe. Oh, that's oh, shaking down. after that slam, Joe. And now is where things could get really interesting. And the fighters engage in the clinch here right out of the shoot. Good knees. Battling for hooks. Lands a good shot from the bottom. Oh, right hand is there for him, Joe. RDA. Wow! Oh! This could be it. Hurt him with that uppercut. Hard straight punch. Lands a nice one, too. Yeah, it's, it's freak. It's like he's cheating. You know, it's like he's got rocks in his gloves. While the body was wide open, his opponent took advantage. Kick to the body, lands flush. He's gonna have to make some adjustments here moving forward. Kiesa gets tattooed by that stiff jab. Nice combination there. Ooh, blocks the shot. Kick to the body by Kiesa. Really missed with that right hand. Back to the jab now. How about that chin? Very good defense on display here. Very good blocks. That strike blocked by Dos Anjos. That one hurt. Look at that jab. Nice. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Just misses with the straight left hand. He blocks the punch. He tagged him with that right hand. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Misses again with a right punch. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Oh, nice punch there by Michael Chiesa. Well, he's looking for that left hand, just out of range, though, with it. Oh! oh! This could be it right here. Fifteen seconds. Big body, body shot. shot there, too. What a fight! Stop, stop, stop! And here we go. Let's take a look at some of this action here. And here's a nice shot, lands perfectly. Big round. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, round two. He's definitely gonna wanna start this round off fast and try to pick up where he left off. His opponent was in big trouble at the end of that round. Oh, good job defensively there to block the strike by Rafael Dos Anjos. All of those are blocked. Well, he has landed some good shots tonight, Joe, but as yet, he has been unable to string together any solid combinations, and that has served to keep his opponent in this fight. So let's see if he can change up the tempo a little bit with his strikes and try to put together a combination that is more damaging to his opponent. Yes, his lower jaw now starting to show signs of sweat. Big shot to the man, he's stunned. Man has his chin detested in. And that's gonna do it. Rafael Dos Anjos. Huge right hand shot that got him the victory. Yeah, that right there is a high level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot.
to end the fight, landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. Let's take a look at it from another angle here. This is the one that causes the knockdown and the subsequent follow-up strikes for the knockout. And here we see that again. So there he is after a monumental knockout turned in here tonight. That is one they will be talking about for quite some time. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, he has the official decision. Dean is going to stop to this contest at one minute, 16 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, well, a big win for the former UFC lightweight champion Rafael Dos Anjos here tonight. As good a pressure fighter as we have in this sport. And a lot of people wonder, when he moved up to the welterweight division, would the power go with him? The answer tonight, an emphatic yes. And I think now for RDA, you can really start to think about